Generation two is where we've taken generation one, these low acrylamide and, and, and non-browning traits, and we've added two more. We've added a trait for um, cold storage. So one of the issues in, with potatoes is how do you store them? Now potato seed can be still cold, and yet you get a lot less disease issues, you got a lot less storage problems if you store them cold, and that means at 38 degrees. But we both know that French fried potatoes and potato chips are stored somewhere between 46 and 52. And the reason for that is that the, they build sugars if you store them cold. And, um, and, and sugars give you browner fries and browner chips. And so we've, we've silenced the gene that allow potatoes to be stored cold. In addition, you're going to get some quality benefits, lower sugars in the field. So low sugars, cold storage. That's trait number one in generation two. The second trait is uh, late blight resistance. Um, in you know late blights, what causes the Irish potato famine? Um, it's less of an issue here in these uh, desert areas. It doesn't happen as much in, in Washington and Idaho, but in the Midwest, late blight is still an issue, and especially around the world. Um, it turns out that some of the wild potato species in the Andes have natural resistance to late blight. Um, and scientists in Europe and the U.S. are working on identifying these genes. We've put, put one in that gives broad spectrum resistance, um, and we're excited to bring that to the market. And right now, as we speak, we're doing research efforts to bring more of these naturally occurring late resistance genes to, uh, into potatoes.